One of the best emblems that Christ left the early church with was the Lord's Supper, the Holy Communion. We shall read from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and the verses 22 and 23. The Bible says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. For this, do this in remembrance of me. Verse 25. In the same way he took the cup also after supper, saying, The cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Go with me to the Old Testament, dear friends. We see the sacrificial system. For your sins to be forgiven, you were supposed to sacrifice a lamb, to sacrifice a dove, or whatever that you could be able to afford. But that was Old Testament. It was pointing to a coming Jesus Christ. It was pointing to a Christ who was to come. When you go to Isaiah chapter 53, you'll notice the exact revelation of what was going to happen. For a son was going to be born. A son was going to be despised. A son was going to be killed. But his death was supposed to bring life even to the very dying sinner. And we find fast forward to the New Testament. We see Jesus Christ living incarnating amongst his friends, amongst his relatives, among people that we know of like nature. But he gives people a promise. When he is dying, for his death was supposed to be the fulfillment of the sacrifices of the Old Testament. So in the New Testament, we see him being killed on the cross. But just before his death, he leaves an emblem that his disciples and the church were to follow. And that was the Holy Communion. And that was the Lord's Supper. And this was supposed to be in remembrance of what his body and what his blood was to do. His body as he was crucified. His blood as he was crucified, dear friends. We were bought from the slave market of sin. We were redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. In other words, as we take Holy Communion, as we take the Lord's Supper, it should be in remembrance of what Christ did for us. And these emblems, they are given as an example to us so that we can remember each and every day. The wine that is used and the bread that is used, inasmuch as this is not the exact blood of Jesus Christ, and this is not the exact uh, body of Jesus Christ, these are emblems that are reminding us of what the body and the blood of Jesus Christ did for us then who should take the Holy Communion? Anyone who believes in Jesus Christ. In other words, if you are a believer in the blood of Jesus Christ, in the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ, then you are the right person who's supposed to take the Holy Communion. I want to invite you, dear friends, that partake with me the Holy Communion. Partake with me the Lord's Supper, for in it we remember Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, thank you very much, and may God bless you abundantly.